This video is sponsored by War Thunder. On April 6, 1945, the world's heaviest and most powerful battleship ever assembled set sail from the Yamaguchi Prefecture in Japan for a one-way mission to Okinawa. The U.S. Army and Marines had just landed on the island, the last Japanese line of defense before the Allied invasion of mainland Japan. With the Imperial Army and Navy lacking the men and resources to resist, Yamato and her crew were ordered to support the resistance. Yamato was fully supplied with ammunition, but only carried enough fuel to arrive at her destination, and the ship's servicemen were sure they wouldn't survive. Still, Operation Tengo was the only way the Japanese had a fighting chance against the overwhelming Allied naval force, and if that meant sacrificing Yamato and all of their lives, the crew was committed to carrying on for the glory of Emperor Hirohito and the Empire of Japan. The Yamato may have set sail for almost certain doom in April 1945, but that does not mean you cannot relive its past battles at the sea. Recreate and reshape the past today in War Thunder, the most comprehensive online military vehicle combat game we have ever played. Click on the link in the description below to experience this free-to-play online game on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Access over 2,000 historically accurate tanks, fixed-wing aircraft, helicopters, and warships in the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. Each is modeled in incredible detail down to their individual components, spanning over a hundred years of technological developments from the 1920s to today. We love the insane attention to historical accuracy, and we were immediately immersed in the intuitive and easy-to-control gameplay. Click on the link below to fight players on a hundred different battlefields where massive ground, air, and sea forces clash for the ultimate reward, victory. Put your commanding and tactical abilities to the test with realistic game modes that make War Thunder the ultimate war simulator. The Dark Documentaries team has been particularly impressed by the highly detailed models of aircraft and warships, which truly pay homage to their real-life counterparts. Immersive gameplay, historical accuracy, beautiful graphics, and unparalleled realism make War Thunder the ultimate fighting simulator. Click now to take advantage of an exclusive offer for Dark Seas viewers. New players will earn a seven-day account boost and a premium tank, aircraft, and warship. Good luck, Captain. Japanese Naval Strategy. Japan's victory over the Russian fleet during the Battle of the Tsushima Strait in May of 1905 confirmed a new path for the Japanese maritime strategy. The naval officers of the rising empire believed that all future sea conflicts would invariably lead to an epic sea battle of gigantic proportions where two opponents would commit their entire fleets for one decisive result. This Japanese doctrine was called Kantai Kesen, or Decisive Battle Doctrine. With the appearance of the first British dreadnoughts during that same year, the Japanese Navy began to study the idea of developing gigantic ships that could decide the fate of a battle if they entered combat. The first of these ambitious battleships came in 1909 and were perfected in 1916 with the Nagato, a warship armed with 10 devastating 16-inch guns, making her the largest warship of her time. However, Japan's objective of one day matching the United States Navy in quality and quantity was abruptly halted following the Treaty of Versailles and the Washington Naval Treaty. Super Battleships Japan's petition for the Empire and its citizens to be recognized as equals to the European and American victors of World War I was rejected. Additionally, Japan's total capital ships were limited to 70% of those of the American Navy. The Empire resented this injustice and left the League of Nations and the Washington Naval Treaty in 1934. With these unfair obligations out of the way, the Imperial Japanese Navy, or IJN, set out to strengthen its fleet and secretly fulfilled its desire to build four super battleships, the largest the world had ever seen. Knowing full well that they could never match the economic and production capacities of the Americans, the IJN intended to shift the balance with these super battleships, which were supposed to be capable of engaging multiple enemy warships at once. The super battleships were also going to carry 16-inch main guns and thick armor 
that was expected to resist direct impacts from 18-inch naval artillery shells. Yamato After meticulously studying over 24 different designs, the IJN came up with a final one that called for a battleship that could carry nine 18-inch main guns, withstand the hits from hostile shells of the same caliber, and be defended by an underwater armor that could resist the damage of 660-pound torpedoes. Other specifications were to be determined later. Still, Japanese engineers realized that such a ship would require a displacement of at least 70,000 tons. In 1936, the Yamoto and her sister ship, Musashi, were approved for construction, but to build these colossal ships, the IJN had to modify the dockyards at Kure and Nagasaki to adequately accommodate the gigantic hulls. Both ports had to be fitted with cranes that could lift up to 300 tons. Additionally, the dockyards were entirely concealed by other structures to hide the project's true nature and prevent the U.S. naval intelligence from collecting information about the battleships. By early 1939, as development was underway on both battleships, it was decided that a third one, Shinano, would be converted into an aircraft carrier. Then, when she was finally launched on August 8, 1940, Yamato effectively became the largest battleship ever produced in the world. More importantly, it was more powerful and heavier than her German counterpart, the Bismarck. Unprecedented Protection Yamato had a length of 862 feet, a draft of 36 feet, and a beam of 127 feet, and she displaced over 72,000 tons. The colossal beast was powered by 12 Kampon boilers and four shaft geared steam turbines. The ship boasted over 150,000 horsepower, which allowed her to reach speeds of up to 27.5 knots and an estimated range of 7,146 miles. Almost one-third of Yamato's total weight was her armor. The central armor belt was 16 inches thick, the citadel was 14 inches, the lower armor belt was between 11 and 8 inches thick, and the deck armor was between 7 and 9 inches. The three main turrets were protected at the front by armor that was over 26 inches thick, while the conning tower was covered by over 19.7 inches of armor. Yamada was practically impregnable from all sides, and her main armament consisted of nine 18-inch naval guns, making them the largest caliber guns ever fielded on a vessel. Each gun was over 69 feet long and weighed over 162 tons. The shells fired from these powerful guns had an approximate weight of 3,129 pounds and had a fire rate of little more than a minute. Muzzle speed was 2,600 feet per second, and the maximum range was 26 miles. Secondary armament comprised 12 6.1-inch guns mounted in four triple turrets, and this immense firepower was also complemented by an additional 12 5-inch guns. In addition, Yamato was fitted with 24 25mm guns and four 13.2mm machine guns to use against hostile aircraft. More than 3,200 men were required to properly operate the massive ship. Finally, Yamato could carry seven Nakajima E-8N or E-4N seaplanes that could be launched from two catapults and used for reconnaissance missions. Leyte Gulf Yamato finished sea trials in November of 1941, and by February, she became the flagship of Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto's combined fleet. However, Yamato did not fire a single shot during the Battle of Midway, and was only used as the headquarters of the entire fleet. The ship would not see action until June of 1944, during the American advance towards the Philippines, when Yamato and her sister ship joined the combined fleet to attempt to stop the U.S. Navy's advance. At Leyte Island, the Japanese Navy sought to destroy the Americans in one decisive battle, but things quickly went wrong. The Japanese task forces were ambushed by submarines and an overwhelming number of American aircraft. During the battle, Musashi was terminated by torpedoes, and Admiral Kurita, who was leading the task force, decided to retreat before losing Yamato. Despite firing several times, the Japanese battleship did not score any objectives and was hit by three bombs, causing intermediate damage. Operation Tengo Yamato remained at Kure from November of 1944 
to April of 1945 until she was fully repaired. By then, the Americans had launched the invasion of Okinawa, and many men from the Japanese High Command were convinced that the war was lost. Still, the Japanese fighting spirit lingered on, and the IJN wanted to go down fighting like the samurai, honoring their emperor until the very end. The IJN then put together a special one-way mission, codenamed Operation Tengo, which would include Yamato and the Second Fleet. The objective was simple, to set sail straight into the American ship's formation stationed off the coasts of Okinawa. Once there, Yamato was to be grounded and fight until the last man. Yamato's crew knew they would not survive. Still, on April 6, 1945, they set sail from Japan, ready to fulfill their oath of loyalty to the Emperor. No return. The task force was expected to reach Okinawa on April 9th, but it was intercepted two days earlier by American submarines, and an overwhelming battle ensued. The Japanese fought with all their might. One by one, Yamato's escorts began to go down after multiple torpedo hits and bomb impacts from U.S. Navy aircraft. When they were all gone, the American aircraft turned towards Yamato. The ship fired non-stop in return until the gun's barrels were too hot or simply stopped firing as the men were taken down by the American bombs. After two hours of intense combat, Yamato couldn't take it any longer. The colossal battleship had been hit with all sorts of bombs, from armor-piercing to high-explosive ones, as the U.S. pilots tried to maximize the damage. Soon, the fires engulfing Yamato's deck became uncontrollable. Once the Japanese anti-aircraft guns went completely silent, the American aircraft began to drop bombs and torpedoes from low altitudes. After 11 torpedo hits, the order to abandon the ship was given. Yamato quickly sank, and only less than 300 crewmen made it out alive from the remains of the world's largest battleship. Still, the legacy of Yamato endures almost a hundred years later. In Japan, the Yamato Museum at Kure, where the ship had been initially built, features an incredible and highly detailed one-tenth scale model. Thank you for watching our video, and thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring it. Don't forget to click on the link in the description to play for free and claim your 7-day boost and a premium tank, aircraft, and warship. Remember that no extra hardware is required. A controller, a mouse, and keyboard are more than enough to get you in the middle of the action. See you on the land, in the sea, and in the air.